today with Daniel Britt and Ross Anderson of Elevated Wellness. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks thank for you. having us. Thank you. Absolutely. Our pleasure. And I always like to start our interviews off by asking, do you guys remember the first time you smoked weed? What was that like? A hundred percent. I remember my first time and it was amazing. Uh, I fell in love immediately, to be honest. Um, it was a very fun experience. I literally went home directly home after smoking my first time and kind of praised it to my folks. Uh, which they were not expecting <laughs> but at the same time it, it was a great in introduction to myself and my family and yeah I, it's it became a passion of mine going forward uh it helped me with a bunch of like social issues that i personally had at the time and so forth and so um yeah because of the way it helped me uh i quickly became interested in joining the cannabis industry um, which back then was a little different um, but yeah I was a master grower for some time myself um, we were very green thumbs in my household so it was kind of you know second nature for me so it was an easy transition into something that I absolutely loved uh, but yeah great experience on my first time smoking Great. And mine was probably less. <laughs> uh, so just because growing up in, you know, in Texas, I'm sure uh, as many of us kind of trying to hide it and, and hiding it from my parents. So, uh, so yeah, it was uh, kind of a, a breath of fresh air, although smoking it out of receipt paper the first time was not ideal <laughs> so needless to say I definitely learned my lesson um, but thoroughly definitely enjoyed it I think I create I, I gained a lot of creativity of thought out of it and it really helped kind of expand my my reach there tell us a little bit about elevated wellness who are you guys in the space and how did the company really come about we're actually in our compounding pharmacy right now outside of Austin, Texas and Pflugerville, Texas. Uh, so we started out um, being in the pharmaceutical world, seeing that people were starting to ask about CBD. You know, now this is about three years ago um, when we were starting to get a lot of questions about it. So we decided to look into it ourselves. Uh, we saw that, you know, it was un unregulated um, and we figured it would give us a chance to use our pharmaceutical background skills um, and, and try to find good products and then also make them ourselves. So uh, we developed a passion in doing that and then also realizing that uh, we're seeing a lot of great benefits as opposed to these prescription drugs that people are taking and then having to take other prescription drugs for the side effects. So we're really just having a passion uh, from being able to give some fun, someone something more natural. You know, with our background and everything, we knew we could create a fail safe environment for patients and customers alike to get not just quality products, but fully tested products. Um, and being that that's not necessarily a requirement right now, there's a lot of laxity there. Uh, and so with that gap, we thought we could ultimately fill it with really a premium operation. So everything we do as far as production and manufacturing, we do at the pharmaceutical level. Obviously, we can't call it pharmaceutical CBD, uh, not just because that doesn't technically exist, but also FDA won't you know, regulate a uh, cannabis product. Um, but our operations are USDA approved processes and FDA regulated uh, operations. So everything we do is at the pharmaceutical level right? Um, we just don't necessarily advertise that uh, simply because it's sort of a gray area. They're saying it's like for pharmaceutical grade of any sort. And so tell our followers why they should look for products with a certificate of analysis. I mean, what does testing do for not only cannabis, but for the CBD industry? And why is it important? Well, it's important because you want to know what you're getting and that what you're getting is truly what it's advertised. And that's an inherent issue right now. A lot of people taking advantage of that laxity to produce lackluster products or even products that they're claiming are something when they're not at all. Um, 
So there is an, uh, basically a risk right now in just purchasing willy-nilly CBD products simply because there's so many people getting into the industry that either don't have the knowledge, experience, and or um, passion to create a quality product that's fully safe from, again, any impurities whatsoever. And also what is advertised. And like in our manufacturing practices, we actually make all of our products a percentage higher than what we quote on the package itself. That way there's absolutely no way, shape or form that any of our patients or customers will be shorted in what they're purchasing. Um, plus we do processes like homogenization and things of that nature to make sure that everyone's getting even uh, dosages, no hot spots or cold spots within the mixtures themselves. Um, and, this, and the COA part is simply just a confirmation of that. It, it shows the, the consumer, not just what's in the product, but that it's free of impurities and any sort of issues, which we do full paneling on our products. So we don't just test potency, we test for microbial evidence, heavy metals, pesticides, residual solvents, microtoxins, caustic materials. If it's under the sun, we test for it, right? And so we confirm that our products are free of any of these potential issues and contain what we're quoting they contain. So that way that purchaser gets a product that potentially can help condition whatever they're trying to help. Um, and then also know that they're not consuming something that would either acerbate their condition because of some impurities or create an entirely new one beside what they're currently trying to assist. And so, for those that don't know what homogenization is, because I know that you use that word, um, what it is is basically <laughs> it's uh, the machine looks like a rod that goes into the solution, right? In this case, like a tincture and it vibrates at ultrasonic wavelengths basically and breaks down all of the material in it so that it sort of forms together um, to, you know, ideally, like he said, no hot spots or cold spots, all part of the bottle is all gonna have the same amount of cannabinoids or whatever that's in the mixture, ideally. So Also in that process, with. and just to touch on what he said, it does break the chemical compounds down to where it does effectively increase the bioavailability of it. It's not like a water soluble or nano emulsion process, but it's similar to that, just not to the extent of breaking it down to like one to 10 point molecules, right? But the fact of the matter is you're breaking these compounds down and using those ultrasonic waves to actually bind them to the medium in which you're mixing them into. That way there's no chance of there being separation and or um, again, hot pockets or cold pockets when someone's dosing something out. Uh, we still recommend shaking the bottle, of course, and things of that nature, but the homogenization really does a great job in preventing those types of issues, as well as making it a more effective product. Tell us a little bit about the products that you guys produce and, and how can they help people? So we do a multitude of products. Um, our main ones are, are usually tinctures, topicals, things of that nature, uh, which we do go above and beyond with. Um, obviously, we have anything from isolate, broad, full spectrum uh, products that we manufacture. They will help with multitude of, of potential issues. Um, obviously, there's things we cannot claim. But when you're talking about stress issues, inflammation issues, things of that nature, even sleep issues, uh, there's a lot of good that these products can do, um, especially in a, and it depends like on what you're dealing with, whether you want to take an oral solution, a topical solution, um, whether inhalation would be better for you or not. Um, you know, everybody's body chemistry is different. So not just the different cannabinoids will act differently within each person, but also, you know, some people's body chemistries won't take to oral solutions or topical solutions, and maybe they're forced to do an inhalation to get that relief. Um, <clears throat> also, depending on how quickly they want the relief might determine what product they end up going with, right? They might not want to inhale, but want a faster acting product. So maybe a water soluble or a nano emulsion product would be best. Um, but we mainly do tinctures, topicals. Uh, we do some concentrates as well, terpsilates, even distillate concentrates, things of that nature. Uh, I want to highlight our topical specifically, though, um, just because 
since we are a pharmacy, a compounding pharmacy, our specialty is topical pain creams. So we kind of went in with that same mentality with our topicals, not taking away from any of the other product line that we have, but uh, we use the same base as uh, our, our prescription pain creams that we have that have been really proven to be liposomal and really go deep down into the tissue. So it really helps with that CBD getting deep down and, and having that long lasting effect and also very quick effect as well. Yeah, most topicals on the market as far as cannabis and hemp are using essential oils and things of that nature to aid the absorption of that product, uh, which does help, absolutely. Um, but ours is truly pharmaceutically transdermal. So there is an active ingredient in there. It's a liposomal matrix base that actually forces the active ingredients through the skin into the bloodstream and muscle mass. So you're getting near instantaneous absorption as well as a higher bioavailability with this versus any other topical on the market that doesn't use a process like this. And as you can tell, Ross is our product curator and our formulation scientist. Um, yeah. So he's, he's helped develop... Um, and, and really finite all of our products and, and with R and D as well. And I'm, I'm a very quality driven person. I won't accept anything less than the best. So when I source materials or vet labs or anything of that nature, it's a very strenuous process because every box has to be checked. And then on top of that, they need to be producing something that meets our standards. Uh, like most of so the extracts we use are very high minored extracts. Uh, it's not often you find extracts that reach into the 20 some odd percentile of minors, uh, which is solely what we use is very high minored extracts. Um, and that's mainly because once you've diluted that product into a MCT oil or a cream base or anything of that nature, um, you are reducing those percentages even further or those milligrams even further and further. So to get them to really show up and provide an efficacy, then you want a higher percentage to begin with. So once it is diluted, they are actually showing up. So when you look at our COAs, you will see pretty high levels of those minor uh, cannabinoids and so forth. And we also do terpene infusions and so forth, whether it's topical, oral, and so forth. We do effect-based blends and our terpenes are organic derived, all natural kosher certified cannabis terpenes. So we, again, it's all about quality, safety, and all of the above. And any product that we do manufacture, we do everything in our power to make it the best it possibly can be. And not just to our standards, but the industry standards as well. So our goal here is again, to provide a fail safe environment for people to get quality products that are safe and effective. And where exactly are you guys sourcing your CBD from? You mentioned you're in Texas. I'm thinking yeah a big hemp field and extracting it or where does it come from so it's all in the united states uh some of our extracts are made locally here in austin texas then we have other extractions that are made either in colorado oregon and things of the like so there's many other states that we do work with to get specific extractions and then one of the reasons we work with so many different uh, labs is because some of them produce a really amazing product that's a broad spectrum and it has all the miners and the levels we would want, but their full spectrum might be lackluster in that in comparison. So we might source our full spectrum from another lab, right, that is actually producing what we would ultimately want to see in our products. And so that's ultimately why we don't just kind of narrow us ourselves down to a single lab and working with extracts we work with multiple labs but all are within the united states all are fully certified labs um, and uh, gmp certified etc cetera, etc cetera. so uh, and then on top of that I, I know i mentioned we full panel our products we also full panel the extractions as well so the ingredients that we're putting into the product also go through that testing and what does full panel mean for those that might not? So, full, so again, uh, COAs, most people, all they're doing is potency testing. That's a single panel, right? Which potencies like cannabinoid profile, how much CBD, how much THC, how much CBN, et cetera. Right. Whereas a full panel, you're not just testing the potency of the product. You're also confirming that it has no impurities. So again, just to remind you, it's microbial, heavy metals, pesticides, um, microtoxins, any caustic materials, residual solvents, et cetera, et cetera. 
So it's everything and anything under the sun that we can test for. We do test for that to confir confirm its purity and safety. Because again, providing someone a product that has all the right parts, but is full of arsenic and lead, that's not going to end well, right? So we want to do our due diligence to make sure that our products in every way, shape or form and in every angle are going to be effective and safe for the consumer. Again, being that we're a compounding pharmacy, we actually do work with a ton of doctors all over the United States. So we get a lot of patient based customers sent to us from these doctors to find a solution in hemp or cannabis. And so knowing that these people are potentially and more often than not suffering from something that might be fairly severe, we don't want to provide them a product that could potentially, again, either acerbate that or create another issue on top of it. it just doesn't make sense to us. And because of that laxity in the industry, we knew with our resources, we could create that, we could fill that gap and we could create that fail safe environment for people. The CBD, it, it really has helped move um, cannabis forward in so many different directions. You know, I mean, it has uh, created a level of acceptance and tolerance that was never here before. What kind of resistance or pushback have you guys received? I mean, you're in Texas, which I would say that's that the number one pushback. <laughs> <laughs> so we get plenty of pushback for sure. Um, but the way we see it is education is the key, right? If we can educate not just the consumer, but the politicians, uh, government officials, all of these people, if we can educate people on what the potentials are for cannabis and hemp then I think that will ultimately be the best tool in destigmatizing it. When you get into an industry like this, you kind of got to expect it, right? Because if you don't, it's really going to turn you upside down. So you got to prepare for these things and know that there's always going to be pushback and so forth, because that's kind of what we've done to cannabis via the war on drugs and all of these policies, you know, reefer madness, we've created a stigma towards a plant that didn't deserve it. And now we need to do our due diligence to work through that and actually change that. We're not saying just replace those drugs. We're just saying, you know, give it a try and see if maybe it can help in areas that these don't or, or do the same benefits without the side effects. And maybe they can wean off some of those prescription drugs that they are currently on. Um, but we're not in the game to just like totally pull someone out of, you know, taking pharmaceutical drugs, you know, big pharma uh, medicine, we, we want to just provide them with options that potentially can help them get away from some of those that might be harming them um, and find a more natural solution, which, which is also what we did with our pain creams before even starting this. A lot of our pain creams were the, the goal was to provide a more natural option to opioids and opiates and things of that nature. So our pain creams don't contain those kinds of chemicals uh, before we were even doing cannabis. And so that was already a move we were trying to take. And then when this became an option for us via the USDA bill, it was a no brainer. There's obviously still steps backwards every so often and so forth because it's a continuous fight, but we're seeing that happening. And I think a big part of that is educating the public so they can also join in on the fight and then educating those people who are effectively making these policies and laws so that hopefully they can wake up and you know switch their prerogative to helping these people who potentially lost their families solely because of a joint. And so what we've done specifically on that is... Uh, with any hearings that the any Texas bills that come to the floor, we always make sure to be there. We also make sure on the education piece that Ross was talking about is also educating our healthcare providers that are in our network or just friends or however connected on what cannabis is and what questions to ask, how to answer it. Um, and so that way we've been able to work with some doctor's offices and some networks to get them to actually write the congressman letters, you know, in regard to certain laws that are happening. Um, so we're working really diligently sort of with that, um, you know, side of things, kind of hearing from a physician, hey, this is how my patients are seeing it. This is the effects that they're having um, to sort of fight that stigma and, and hopefully change the way the laws are being made and, and governed there. Yeah. 
And, and also getting medical professionals behind the industry will help a lot with those people who are stigmatized, right? See that stigma side of cannabis, right? If your doctor goes to you and goes, no, you should really try this. And you might listen to your, your, that doctor. He's a medical professional, right? If you, he knows everything about your health, your body, your DNA, et cetera, et cetera. And he's suggesting this to you, there might be a reason. Right. So again, educating not just the government, but the people, medical professionals, all of these things can make a huge difference. And so, again, it's just that wide acceptance that we're looking for uh, that will ultimately flip this over, which, will, again, we are starting to see. It's just the effort needs to continue. Absolutely. And it starts with businesses just like Elevated Wellness to really help put that education out there and to get the word out. So, so I thank you guys for all the work you're doing in this industry. And for people that want to shop with you, maybe they want to shop online, maybe they want to shop in person. Can you tell, Can you give us a little direction on where they should go? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So uh, elevatedwellness.com is where you can find our website on there in, in which we have all of our products there for pickup or, or uh, uh, ship as well um, anywhere in the U.S., uh, and then we also uh, have five different storefronts if you're in the Texas area, uh, one in Austin, and then four in the Houston area. Uh, we are also just launching our franchise as well. So if there is an, an interest in getting into the CBD space or cannabis space, uh, we have those options as well. Um, and then we also have some pharmacies uh, that stock our product in the Texas area as well um but our website is probably the best way to get some info <laughs> awesome well thank you guys so much for taking the time to speak with us is there anything thank else you for you having want? us absolutely is there anything else you want to let our audience know before we part ways yeah no i i think let's fight this together let's do this all together i think we're all on the same train here and uh let's see it all the way to the end yeah